Hi Aries, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana and these are your deep thoughts for the month of May. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can click the link in the box below to get the special $50 YouTube pricing. It's a website just so YouTubers can schedule readings. If you want a plain old personal reading, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. All right, so Aries, you open this reading with the Empress, right? Feeling like an Empress, right? Abundance is on your mind. Abundance, thinking about building, creating, and being abundant. Followed by the Ace of Wands, an inspired, passionate new beginning in your life, right? Death comes in and says, you have put an absolute ending, because nothing ends something like death, right? You have put an absolute ending to conflict that is in your life. Conflict that put you in the Nine of Swords mentality because of some kind of catch my planet ah because of some kind of um, deceit and betrayal with the Seven of Swords. Really hurts your feels a lot with the Queen of Cups. Really hurts your feels. Hits you right in the chest. Aries really did. Eh, you know, what are you going to do? Shit happens, right? Ace of Pentacles is what you're going to do. You're going to manifest brand new opportunities in your life. Five of Cups says you are walking away from whatever this was right here. Spun on a dime and you're like, nope, not having it. Walking away with the Five of Cups, right? Feelings of despair and loss and regret and disappointment. Yeah, but you are totally moving the hell on from this situation. Two of Swords comes in and says that there was confusion, right? Whatever this was that hurt your feels up here, there was a lot of confusion for you. And the transition that you're making, the death that you're putting to this conflict that put you in the Nine of Swords because of betrayal and deception and hurt you in your feels, because of that, you're making a regretful but necessary exit from this situation. The bridge between the Two of Swords and the Six of Swords is the King of Swords, an absolute drop-dead serious decision about exiting from this situation. Like I said with the Five of Cups right there, you're like, nope, don't think so, not happening. Strength comes in. Was it easy? No. It wasn't easy, but it was something that you absolutely had to do with the King of Swords right there and the death card, for God's sakes, the death, right? Absolutely had to do it. It was hard, but you had to do it. Three of Wands comes in down here and talks about a lack of foresight, right? So what this card tells me is that you didn't see this coming. You didn't see it coming at all. It's not like there was a big blow up or there was a big a big restructuring of some sort. It just was like wham out of the blue. And 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 that as fast as it hit you, that's as fast as you cut it off, right? It happened and you're like, "Nope, not having it." 3 of wands. Didn't see it coming, right? Lack of planning, no foresight, didn't see it coming. Left you in the energy of the 7 of cups confused as hell, right? You're, you're just confused. Whiplash, right? And the good old devil comes in and reiterates the seven of swords up here. There was betrayal, deception. Somebody was just freaking shady as hell to you. Ten of swords comes in and says that this betrayal, this this backstabbing, this, this crisis that you ended with this death card right here that you put an ending to is the catalyst for a new beginning and a new journey in your life. Catalyst for it, right? Because death, boom, done. Five of cups, mm, sorry, walking away. Fool card, brand new beginning, brand new journey. And as a matter of fact, this 10 of swords is also, eh, this 10 of swords is also about recovery and regeneration. So add that to the mix, right? Recovery and regeneration being the catalyst for this new beginning and this new journey in your life. This princess of wands comes in and says, you are passionately moving forward with the prince of pentacles, right? Going to move forward, do your thing and just live your life. 
with some passion. To the Princess of Cups. This, this actually, this Princess of Cups is actually the end card in this reading, right? This is a messenger of a creative new beginning in your life. Beautiful. Topped by the Ten of Cups. Harmony, happiness, values alignment in your life on the horizon for you. Because you manifested your way through this struggle. You made the right decision and now you are being rewarded with the Princess of Pentacles. The manifestation of a brand new opportunity could be financial. It could be the manifestation of a brand new financial opportunity seeing as how it's Pentacles. But a brand new opportunity nevertheless. That is a beautiful reading, Aries. It was straight and to the point. And oftentimes, actually, Aries, I think you guys have the most straightforward readings that I do. I hardly ever have to elaborate and get into big, huge um, um, discovery and stuff like that. You're, it's just really straightforward and to the point. You have abundance on your mind. You are starting a brand new, passionate, creative beginning in your life. You put an absolute ending to something that created a lot of conflict in your life. Put you into a state of severe anxiety because somebody was full of betrayal and deception and shady behavior and it hurts you in your feels bad. But you know what? You're going to you're going to you're going to have the ace of pentacles. You're going to start a brand new. You're going to manifest brand new opportunities in your life. Because you know you you're sorry that it happened, but you're not tolerating that and you're just simply walking away. Just walking away. There was a lot of confusion because this transition that you had to make wasn't of your own choosing, right? It was a regretful but necessary transition that you abs made an absolute cutthroat, clear, bottom line decision to do. Cut those ties with whatever caused that conflict. You just reached up and you sliced them with the king of swords right there and just, just walked away. Strength. It was hard. It wasn't easy. But you did it anyway because it's what you had to do. You didn't see it coming though. You really didn't. You did not see it coming and it threw you into a state of major confusion. It, like, like I said, whiplash, right? It was just like, whoa, what was that? Got some devil energy right there clarifying the deception and the deceit and the betrayal and the shady behavior. The ending of this situation in your life is a catalyst for a brand new beginning and a brand new journey in your life. Something that, um, that is, is passionate, right? But in an inspired way, in the King of Swords kind of way, right? Where you're like, nope, not taking it, not doing it. And I'm just going about my business and I'm going to be good with or without you. And now it's without you right? Prince of Pentacles, passionately planning for your future with the Princess of Wands and the Prince of Pentacles. Princess of Cups comes in and says, there is, this is a messenger of a creative new beginning in your life. Ten of Cups, happiness, harmony, just this, the be all to end all because you manifested your way through this burden and this struggle and you're being rewarded with the Princess of Pentacles, the manifestation of a brand new opportunity, financial or otherwise. That's beautiful, Aries. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you liked this video, like it, because that's a big deal to YouTubers, right? <laughs> when we put videos out, if people don't like it, it's like, oh, nobody liked my video, right? So if you liked it, like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, join the tribe and subscribe. And um, if you think it'll help anybody, by all means, share it. All right. Deep thoughts with Dana.com. Namaste.